Well, maybe it's just because you're Lucina. Lucina. You'll never defeat me. Better try the reflection test. Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash, and last time we got Marth, the first Fire Emblem character, into Elite Smash using the power of his deadly tipper on the edge of his sword to bash his way through all of his opponents. So next up, we're going to be doing another Fire Emblem character from that series, and it's one who plays a little similar to Marth. We've of course done Krom and how he doesn't have a tipper and he's still really strong, so we're going to do another one without a tipper and it's going to be Lucina. Lucina is honestly better than Marth because of the lack of a tipper, so we're going to play a little bit of Lucina today. I like this black skin, of course, and I think without the tipper, you'll actually be surprised that Lucina does a lot better than you'd think. Alright, looks like we have Donkey Kong up first and that should be a very favorable Three, matchup for us two, as a sword character one, and Donkey Kong being a very heavy character. So let's start off with Lucina's moveset. Very similar to Mars, in fact. In fact, it's the exact same, but you don't have to worry about the tipper. And, of course, that dancing blade doing a lot of damage, getting all those hits and tripping him. Good back throw as well. Alright, gotta be careful about him coming back. Luckily, Donkey Kong F smash. And up here, you're locking to hit. Same with F smash, doing a lot of good damage. And of course, I'm still having that counter, just like Mark does. I'm Unfortunately, rolling. went a little too deep, I accidentally missed him, put it aside, beat to stall a little bit of air time. So, yeah, nothing really new that Lucina uh, has that Mark doesn't, except for the fact that, of course, no tipper. So you'll find that a lot of those moves that we were struggling to hit with Mark can be a lot easier to hit with Lucina. Like that nice back air, hitting the air dodge, and getting another nice counter timed off. This time, though, we make it back, we don't SD, so you got a nice, comfortable stock lead over the big monkey. And you're just really trying to get it in there and getting those nice up tilts, similar to how Mark was, except we, of course, no tipper. I'll be hitting that a lot. So, yeah, nice F smash, We're able to line it up. Just this is my meal, I call this girl dinner. Girl, girl, dinner. girl dinner! Girl dinner! Girl dinner! Girl dinner! I wonder what's for and of course, we can't forget about the shield breaker. We weren't able to get any shield breaks with Marth's shield breaker, but I think with Lucina, you'll find them to be a lot easier as we move on to the next round. Alright, looks like we have Incineroar up next. Another free matchup for us for the giant sword, and Incineroar doesn't really have a way to deal with that. So again, nice up tilt, waiting for any revenge. Nice up air. There's the revenge thrown forward. Look at that side B. A little bit off, but yeah, down here, same thing. Nothing too interesting. Alright, another one, and that should be dead now. Let's go for a nice back to the end card. Oh yeah, I did mention to forget that, of course, Incineroar side B, not side B, up B spikes, so unfortunately we're dying at such a low percent, but luckily it becomes a trade since we were able to get in that edge card just before we died. And his field looking really low, so hopefully we can get in, in a nice neutral B to get some more shield damage. And yeah, the thing with Lucina's up tilt is we're able to get a lot more why wait? With this one, and getting that nice up smash, not as fun to hit as Marks, of course, but still a really good smash attack nonetheless. Able to do another nice back throw. Not able to get any two frames though, so maybe have to die him for this one, for another back throw from Incineroar. But yeah, if we can get a nice shield break, that would be really nice. Although, flavoring throws in this map is not being too bad. Alright, nice down smash, and that should be put us in a range. Have a nice forward air from Lucina to finish off the Dastardly Kitty. Nothing really too exciting about that one. Just edge guarding the center one as, again, we move on to the next one. Alright, Wolf, and looks like we're going to have to work a little more on this one. Nothing as free as the last two, as Wolf does have a way to deal with range of that blaster. But yeah, we can at least sneak in a few up tilts and edge guard him like that. Of course, not as going to be easy, because he's at 27. He's not going to die just there. We'll have to work for it a little bit more, but we can exploit that just as well. Alright, a little bit late on the counter. We'll definitely be able to get one of those. Oh, and he just dies like that off the uh, shield breaker. Guy, I haven't done it into a shield just yet. Unfortunately, did not win my shield down either, so unfortunately going to have to die to down smash. 
So yeah, want to be able to land with side B or Nair or something like that would be nice. But so far, Wolf isn't really doing too much to us either. Just getting a lot more trades. And yes, another thing that I like about we see that Wolf is dying to another back here. But the fact that you can hold it in the air and do that nice distance thing that we did with Mars is another really fun work of Lucina and of course Wolf a little too low for that, not going to make it back as it's going to be last stop. Luckily nobody's gotten pineapple considering the fact that we're on Dreamland. So, nice two up tilts. Let's go ahead and down throw up air. Doesn't get the up air, but we get a nice jab and pack chase. Go for the side D. Let's see if we can go for the counter on this one. Sweet merciful crap! We can! And that's just going to take Wolf out just like that. Really fast movement, really precise movement. It doesn't matter what kind of movement it is, it's Lucina's movement after all. Alright, looks like we have Luigi up next, and I don't know, I don't feel as bad about playing this matchup as I do with other characters. Normally it's a really bad one for a lot of other characters, but... <laughs> I don't think Luigi's online, he, he died... Alright, there you go, he's moving a little bit, but he died just after one side B. And uh, he's moving there, and he's, he's back up. I guess he was having a nap or doing something else. Maybe he was busy. But he seems ready to fight now. He's oh, no. down the socket. Oh, never mind. I think I might have been wrong about that one. I don't think he's really in the mood to fight if he's already down two stocks just like that. This might not be the action-packed battle that we were looking for this time. Missing it, and we're still looking at 168 to the green missile. Can't even kill us off of that. And unfortunately not getting it down here that we wanted. It would have been nice, but, you know, that down here, no matter who bought you see that? Oh, okay. And there we go. There is the shield breaker. Hey, Mario, wherever you are! He's right for the head. The reason we actually aim right for the head is, regardless of the tipper of Martha Lucina, the shield breaker does do more damage if you aim straight for the head, which, of course, we did. All right, I don't think that first match really did that Luigi must justice. It was really just, you know, uh... Not that really exciting to fight, and he's already down to stock once again, so hopefully he can put up more of a fight this time. I don't think he is. He's getting shield broken at 9%, so let's do another one. Straight to the head, to the 33%. Trying to get another one, but he is at least has that Dombi, the tornado that blocks a lot of, out a lot of options, and he's just spamming that. I almost thought he was going to get shield broken again by that shield breaker. Twice in one game would have been nuts. And nice setting us up. Nice side beat into the back here. I think this game is just about over. Unless Luigi can fight his way all the way back. But, you know, we're Lucina. I think we know a thing or two. Almost getting it again at 0%. Alright, nice 24%. You know, I think we'll just finish it with a uh, shield breaker. This will be, that'll be really nice. And yeah. He's, he's not rolling it, he's just taking it now. So one more to do it, right? Whoops, you have to put the CD up your ass. Up his ass. <laughs> it's no DI, he just died at 60 or 70. And I don't think that we should put up much of a fight. But we are still now in a lead smash. Well, I think that run seemed to give out towards the end with that Luigi not really putting up much of a fight. But at least with the other matches, they put up a little more of a fight and when I was able to show up a lot more of Lucina's moveset uh, without the tipper that Marv had. And considering they're very similar, we got to see a lot of different things that Lucina got that Marv didn't seem to get. So it's almost as if playing both the characters and the respective differences allowed us to see the different moves at work. and. It was just really fun to play both Mark and Lucina, but I liked the consistency more of Lucina and really got to see more of her moves be really good moves instead of just not killing at certain percents or doing way too much damage to even be considered a functional move. I think if you ever want to play a basic sword character, Lucina is always a great place to start and yeah, that's really all I have to say. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and tip her, well, not tip her, but She'll break that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out, and make it a great day, everyone.